I think I'm about water or ocean or something. Very good. All right. I'm walking in sand. Very good. Very good. So let's continue. It's dark. Let's continue to walk. And now you can use your inner eyes to light up the place. <coughs> so I'd like for you now to use those inner eyes to light up the place where you're walking. And let's see where you are. What is this place? Connect with your feet. What do your feet feel like? You said you're walking in sand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you feel the sand or do you have shoes yeah. on? Mm -hmm. Very good. No shoes. No shoes. And as you're walking through the sand, I'd like for you to focus on your feet. Do these feet feel like female feet or male feet? They're big. Mm -hmm. Big feet. Tell me more. You can look at them. <laughs> what do they look like? Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Harry? Mm -hmm. They're hairy feet. Oh. Are they male feet or female feet? Male. Male. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely into that body. Just take a deep breath in and feel yourself slipping completely into that body being able to see and feel within that body. What do you feel? Big. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Oh. I'm hairy. Mm -hmm. I have my hair is brown all over. Mm -hmm. I'm not human. Okay. So what is it that you look like? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, instincts. Ah. Uh, Take a look at your hands, for example. What do your hands look like? Really big. About? Big hands. Tell me more. Man, I'm just hairy all over his mm -hmm. long hair. How long is that hair? Long. Mm -hmm. um, hair all on my face. Mm -hmm. All over my body. How tall do you feel? Like six feet or so. Mm -hmm. Huge. And take a look at the shape of your body. Do you feel more human or do you feel more animal? More. It's in between. I in mean, between. Are you standing on two feet or four? Yeah, I'm on two feet. Okay. Take a look at your face. What does your face look like? Hairy. Hairy face. I look like that thing in um, Star Trek, mm -hmm. Star Wars. What's okay. That? So let's find out a little bit more about you. Do you have any clothes on, or is it just no. the hair? It's hair. Just hair. I'm just. And it's brown. I am hairy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at your hands. Are you carrying anything? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. So let's see where it is that you're going. You were walking on the sand. Mm -hmm. So let's see where it is that you're going today. Allow yourself to see. What's happening? The more you talk, the more you'll be able to see. I'm just walking. It's nowhere. Mm -hmm. Take yeah, a look around you. What's around you? 
it's dark. It's um, I hear the ocean, mm -hmm. so I know it's water. It's water on my right, and it's like um, trees on my left. Are you alone, or are there others with you? Use all of your senses. I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I walk into the other end. Mm -hmm. What's there? Um, I think I'm just going somewhere to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Lay down. All right. So I'd like for you to see what it is that you do. Take me through all of this. Where do you sleep? Okay, now I'm walking in the... Uh, maybe it's a jungle or something. Mm -hmm. I'm walking between the trees. Um, oh. What do you see now? Oh, um, uh, I have a little spot. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this spot. It's just where I lay. Mm -hmm. I come here at night. And what is it that you have that you lie on? I didn't put some branches or something together and mm -hmm. made a little cushion. Very good. Uh, How does this place feel to you? Home. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about you. I'm going to have you close this scene. Close the scene and let's now go to another important scene in that same lifetime. Be there now. What's happening? <laughs> what are you experiencing? I'm with others mm -hmm. that's just like me. How many do you see? <laughs> um, it's a lot of us. I mean, we just it's it's um uh, it's daytime. We're on that beach. Mm hmm How and many do you we see? just having a good time. Mm hmm And um What do you do with each other? <laughs> um There's some little ones running around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I have some friends and we just sitting and we just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Do you talk to each other? Yeah. How is it that you speak? How do you communicate with each other? Um, they're not talking with their mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be telepath. All right. We just know, knowing. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name that they call you? Are you known by a particular name? Um... Listen for it within your mind. Do you need a, an identity? I don't think so. All right, very good. So how is it that you feel with these, this group? Good. Very good. Uh, real good. Good. Take a look around this group. The eyes are the window to the soul. 
See if you recognize any that are in the lifetime of Joyce now. Mm -mm. Okay, very good. So let's go on to another scene. I'd like for you to close this one and let's go to another day in that same lifetime when something very important happens. Be there now. Where are you? On the beach, mm -hmm. some one of us died. Tell me more. What happened? We don't know. Connect with your emotions and tell me what you're feeling. Sad. Mm -hmm. How is this affecting all of you? Everybody's sad. Mm -hmm. Was this a male or a female that died? Male. Mm -hmm. Connect with those emotions. How is it affecting all of you besides being sad? Mm -hmm. He was the one I'd like to know everything. Mm -hmm. Was he the wise one? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what does that leave for all of you? Confused. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens now. Close the scene and let's see yourself moving forward in time. What happens next? Where are you? In my little spot. Mm hmm Connect with your emotions. How are you feeling there? Sad. Mm hmm What's happening? Everybody broke up. I don't get together anymore. Mm hmm Tell me how that affects you. <laughs> it makes me sad. Okay. I feel lonely. Mm-hmm. What was I binding stayed in myself? What was binding you all together? The wise one that died. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you now to connect with that wise one. Connect with that wise one. Tell me what you hear. My mother. Mm -hmm. He was my mother. Mm -hmm. oh. Connect now with mother. What does she tell you? <laughs> She's left you before. <laughs> Oh. Oh. The same thing happened. Oh. Oh. What did your mother tell you? She loves me and she always, she'll always be with me. Was when the wise man left before I broke up the whole clan, and now? 
Oh, yes. It's happened again. Yes. What can we do to not repeat the same history? <laughs> what does she tell you? <laughs> she told me I have to forgive myself. I forgive my siblings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ask her why it's so important to do that. It's all about love. This family, love, and for the young kids, keep it alive. Keep it together so they know and they won't be separated. So they will know family and they will love each other no matter what and it will go on and on if I don't reconnect everything will crumble mm -hmm. cause like I'm it. the glue mm -hmm. that keeps everything back together <laughs> I need to accept that it's not just Why has Joyce It's gonna be alright. Why has Joyce resisted so long? Why is she resisting? She don't want to be the responsible one. Mm -hmm. Why me? Ask mom. Ask your mother. Did you choose to be this glue? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. And I need to accept it. Step into it. And embrace it. And release. Mm -hmm. By not accepting this, how is that affecting Joyce and all those around her? There will always be crumbles around. Mm -hmm. The puzzle will not magnetize and come together. Mm -hmm. How is this puzzle looking right now without this glue? It's broken. Mm -hmm. Pieces are not together. Let's you will always have a struggle. You won't reach your dreams. You won't reach anything if you don't put it all together. It starts with the family. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how far back it starts with the family. I'd like to yeah. ask Mom if she can assist with this. Let's go back in time and let's see why it is that Joyce, Joyce decided to be the glue in this family. I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, you're going to be going back in time to find out when it was that you made that determination to be the glue for this family. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going back in time and space to another time and another place. Four, looking for the time when Joyce decided to be the glue to hold this family together. Three, going back now farther and farther. Seeing it from a different perspective now. Two, allowing the images to come now, putting it all together, and one, be there now. Where are you? Just your first impression. I'm spirit. I'm spirit. Very good. Let's see where this spirit is. Are you alone? Are you with others? Um, 
Baba Savat. Use all of your senses, reach out and see who's there with you. I watch her my mother life. Mm-hmm. When she was a child. When she was little. Mm-hmm. When she was born. <sighs> what do you feel as you watch this? Uh, pain she going through. Mm-hmm. Oh. As a child. Um, I'm watching it with our parents. I am um, in the process of picking who, what life I'm coming into. Mm-hmm. Are you by yourself, or are there others guiding you for this? It felt like uh, others are in the room, but they not they let me observe in, All right. by myself, mm-hmm. and I'm watching. What do you She's like the uh, she's like the black sheep or the outcast of the family. Mm-hmm. And uh, how does that make you feel as you watch this? I want to help her. Mm-hmm. Have you known this entity before? No. Mm-hmm. Um, I want her to be my mother, and I'm deciding that I'm going to go in and help her go through all the triumph and difficulties she's going to go through in life. When I'm born, I'm gonna be there for her to help her. I'm gonna grow and be the one that helps her. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to see if there are any challenges ahead for this lifetime as her daughter that you have chosen. Yes. Mm Yes, I've chosen some similar experiences she went through. Mm-hmm. What is the purpose of you selecting these same experiences or similar ones? So that I could change. Mm-hmm. The pattern. Mm-hmm. I want to change the pattern. Very good. I want to change the pattern. I want to be the one to change the pattern. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be the one to change the pattern. Mm-hmm. So when you change that in uh, this family, how will that change the family unit? Make us stronger. Mm-hmm. Make us love one another regardless of what's going on in each other's lives. Mm-hmm. Make us be supportive of each other regardless if we have different fathers Mm -hmm. so is that the purpose for you coming into this lifetime
Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out if there's anyone going with you in this lifetime that's going to assist. Let's see who they are. Who steps forward? My guides. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at your guides and see who they are. We're very close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she called me. Mm -hmm. She called me my guide. She's going to be your guide. <laughs> Have you known each other before? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> what does Cynthia tell you she's going to do for you? <laughs> Keep me straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. She always keeps me straight. Okay. All right. What else does she say? All right. No matter what, she's always there. Very good. Now you said there were other guides. Are there any others? Yes. Yes. I have a lot. Mm -hmm. How are they going to assist um, in that lifetime? Um, uh, <sighs> what do you learn from them? Joseph is coming. Mm -hmm. Tell me what Joseph does. <coughs> How will Joseph assist? He. Oh my goodness. Um, Joseph is assisting me with my um, health, mm -hmm. my well-being. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to call on him. All right. Now, is Joyce going to experience a lot of health issues in this lifetime? No, it's uh, just small things. All right. Um, what is the purpose of her having to experience something with her health? Her mother. Mm -hmm. She wanted to experience some of the things her mother went through. Mm -hmm. Will she need to experience all of that throughout her entire life? Or just enough time for her to no. appreciate it? For her to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to keep it for the rest of her life, does she? No. No. She doesn't. She just needed to experience it mm -hmm. so she could understand mm -hmm. her mother. And once she understands her mother, can she release that and let it go? Yeah. Very good. So what are the other things that she is going to be facing in the lifetime of Joyce? Let's take a look at the other partners and the other people who will be coming into that life with her. I have another guide that's coming. All right, let's find out who that guide is. Charles is coming. He's helping me with relationships. Mm -hmm. What relationships will she need to work on? All relationships. Um, mm -hmm. With friends, with men, with 
relationships in general. Mm -hmm. What is it that Joyce is going to experience in her lifetime in which Charles needs to help her with relationships? When she makes judgments, she will experience it. Mm -hmm. It will come into her life. Anything and else? she have to learn. Mm -hmm. What does she need to learn in this lifetime about relationships? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Just love. No judgment, no... Uh, Well, if she's coming into this lifetime to assist her mother, it seems to me that she already comes in with a lot of love. Yes, yes. How else will she be using that love in relationships? Strangers? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. How will she be helping strangers? Just, um, just show love. Don't, um, don't show that, uh, Um, disappointment mm -hmm. or um, shame or making one feel guilty or anything like that just she needs to learn how to look at things through their eyes and not hers mm -hmm. so is Charles going to help her with that Yes, mm -hmm. that's what he is, yes. So when she feels herself in judgment, for example, how can Charles assist? Charles is the one that's talking to her to tell her not to. Mm -hmm. She listens sometimes and sometimes she don't. Mm -hmm. But that's who's talking to her when it's about that. Mm -hmm. It's Charles. Are there any others that are assisting? Charles assists her with that. Joseph assists her. He's the one to be talking to her with anything with her health or anything mm -hmm. that he needs her to do or change or needs her to eat or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's Joseph talking to her. What is this, the situation with the pain in her body? The legs, the feet, the hip, the back? Sometimes she feels very old. Is she her mother. St still carrying her mother with her? Is mom still with her? Yes. Has mom not gone to the light? Let's find out. What's going on with mom? Is mom earthbound? <sighs> What's happened with her? <sighs> Let's talk to mom. I'm going to count from one to three. Let's speak with her. One, two, and three. Hi, mom. What's happened to you? What do you need from Joyce? I love my baby. Mm -hmm. I don't want to leave her. But you see, if you don't leave her, she's going to feel like an 80-year-old woman all the time. That's not the way to be with your baby. <laughs> what do you need to tell Joyce? It's my baby. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell your baby today? I love her. Mm -hmm. I'm always with, I'll always be with 
not leaving her. All right, take a deep breath in. Joyce, speak to your mama. What do you want to tell her? She doesn't want to leave you. <sighs> you can still be with me. In spirit. I always love you. You know that. Take a deep breath in, Mom. What have you been doing to Joyce all this time? How have you been affecting her? Are you making her sad? Are you making her hurt? What are you doing to her? <laughs> what does she feel from you? <laughs> All my pains that I had. Mm -hmm. Do you think, Mom, that it's fair that you that love has to hurt this way? No. No. Because they say love hurts, but you don't have to give her the pains. Wouldn't it be best for you to just give her your love? Yes. Yes, but you can't do that when you're attached to her. Where is it that you are attached? To her? Where are you attached to her? In her legs? Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You see, Mom. Everywhere it is my babe. No, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. But you see, you can't help her if you're attached to her. You can only help her as a spirit when you're involved. <sighs> what scares you, Mom? What scares you? She yeah, forgive me. What do you need from her? What do you need from her? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know she loves me. I know she never forgive me. Mm -hmm. I know. I just enjoy being inside she, of her. She, with her. She came here just to be with you. To be inside of you. I for, know. But she was only inside of you for nine months and then she came out. How long have you been there, Mom? Quite a bit, haven't you? Yeah, that's not fair, is it? Wouldn't it be better to help her, just like her guides help her, as a spirit guide? Do you want to know what that feels like, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. Because I know you're not going to leave her, because I think you may be a little afraid of what's on the other side. Would you like to see what's on the other side? Would you like me to help you today? Okay. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for my angels to come and surround you. I want them to go ahead and surround you. And I want you to feel their love first. And tell me how it feels to be in their presence. All right. So I'm going to ask the angels to take you on the other side to see where it is that you need to go. This is back to the Creator. I mm -hmm. don't want you to stay there now. I just want you to see mm -hmm. who's there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go with them and tell me what you see. Report back. Who's there, Mom? A husband, mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. brother, what and my do? mother, and my father. What do they tell you? My aunt and A couple. Sounds like a party. Yeah. What do they tell you? The couple. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? It feels good. All right. So I want you to come back now. And I want you to go ahead and begin focusing on the, your heart, Mom. Mm. Inside there, you're going to see a little spark of light. This is the God spark. This is the spark that created you. Tell me when you find that spark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now make it bigger. Make it really big. And tell me how that feels. How does that feel? Warm. Yeah, this is the love of God. 
feel it and make it even bigger. The bigger you make it, the more you feel the connection. How does that feel? Good. So that is where we're going to. Mm. I'm going to call in Archangel Michael. Mm. And he's going to help you go home. But first, I need you to detach yourself from your daughter. Mm. Allow yourself to detach. And Joyce, I'd like for you to go inside your body and make sure that mom is detaching herself from you. Cut away any cords that are holding her down. We want to make her journey beautiful. Cut away any cords. And tell me when that's done. Now, Mom, as she's doing that, I want you to send your daughter that beautiful light inside of her body. I want her to feel that beautiful light that you have, that love that comes directly from God. Send it to her. So she can feel the connection of God through you. Mm. How does that feel? Feels good. Good, I'm done. Very good. So what would you like to say to your daughter? I love your namesake. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Joyce, what do you want to tell your mom? I love you, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So allow your mom now to go with Archangel Michael back home with all of the ancestors. Mm -hmm. Mom, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And as you release Mom, send her with love, knowing that once she comes back, she'll be able to guide you like a spirit guide. And now let's take a look at that body of yours. And I'm going to ask Archangel Raphael to step forward and send his beautiful green healing light up from your feet all the way to your head, healing you and sealing. Feel the sensation of that green light as it flows. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that feels. Uh, it's mm -hmm. So as it tingles through, let's see if there's any other places in the body that need attention today. Take a look. How's the body look now? Take a look at the body and see. What it is, looks good. All right. So let's find out what is going on with the body to retain all of that weight. I'd like for you to connect now with that part of your body that regulates the weight. This is an intelligence that keeps it in order. And let's find out what's going on with the body. What do you see there? It was her mother. Mm -hmm. Was the mother keeping her at a certain weight? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about now? What does the body feel like now? It's functioning. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring back all of that memory of when the body did not have that extra weight. 
I'm going to count from five back to one. And when I get to number one, we're going to go back to a time in the lifetime of Joyce when her body was fit, when her body knew how to spring back, when her body was strong. Mm. Taking a deep breath in now, going back in time, five. Through time and space, four, trim and fit, three, two, and one. Be there now. See yourself. Mm. How old are you there? Seventeen. Beautiful. Take a look at that body. Mm-hmm. And I'd like for you now to connect with the intelligence of that body from 17. Connect with it. And let's do a transfer of memory, of knowledge. And I'd like for you to take from that 17-year-old body all of that memory of how to keep that body fit. Mm. Feel yourself connecting and reminding your body how to be fit once again. Mm. Tell me what you feel. Energetic. Mm-hmm. I want you to f- go ahead and take all of that energy, put it into your body, mm-hmm. reminding your body of that energy, mm-hmm. reminding your organs, reminding your muscles, reminding your ligaments. Reminding all of your cells of what they need to do to bring back that same energy. Allow the metabolism to work at its optimum. Feel it now as it begins to change the body. Mm. So now as we see the body with the 17-year-old metabolism, tell me how it's going to affect the metabolism now of Joyce. Mm. Mm. This is very energy. Very good, very good. Mm. And with all that energy going through, Let's take back and find out what is the purpose of Joyce being with her husband. Allow yourself to go through time and space. Go ahead. Mm. What do you say? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, he, um, uh, he, he agreed to be the husband and, uh, mm-hmm help her through these challenges and to um, he's one of the guys Mm -hmm. so let's go back in time and let's find out when he agreed to come back and when she agreed to have him in her life see yourself going through time and space be at that moment. What 
What was the agreement? was he guiding her? Uh, to fulfill my life purpose. Mm -hmm. He, uh, he, he the one that, uh, Make sure I stay on path. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out if there is a message for him at this time. That he, uh, oh, um, uh, um. I'm here to be his guide. Mm -hmm. And they, um, they have a s circle or something around our bed. Mm -hmm. I find out what that circle is. Um, he's been channeling now mm -hmm. and um, it's getting stronger mm -hmm. let's find out what that circle is oh he is joining my guys and his guys together mm -hmm. he want us to be able to connect telepathic mm -hmm. it's happening some but he's not there yet he's He's doing it. He's, um, his energy feels is going through mine. Mm -hmm. He's making his power strong and then he channels it into me. And it's connecting both our guys and everybody together. It's a circle around our bed. They're all around it. Mm -hmm. Now, Joyce has been told that they have come here together before. They have lived other lifetimes before. Can we find out, please? What is the origin of these two? Where are they from? Have they done this before together? Let's look at the star system, the planet. Where are these two from? Oh, uh -huh. 
do you see? A um, uh, pale color. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Uh, Have um, like um, deep bluish green eyes. Are you male or female? I'm a female, mm -hmm. and I'm gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And oh gosh, <sighs> what color is your hair? Green. Green, uh, green hair. What about your skin? You said it's pale. It's, it's, it's a white, but pale is a palish white color. Mm -hmm. And are you in human form? Or similar? Yeah, very similar. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Human. Take a look at your build. What does your body look like? Oh, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Real nice. <coughs> In this place where you're seeing your body, do they wear clothes? Yeah, I have an outfit. Mm -hmm. What do you, what does it look like? Uh, 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 it's a I would say a, uh, I, I would say a dress, but like a gown dress mm -hmm. or something. It's, um, the collar is big and mm -hmm. it is form fitting mm -hmm. and just long. Mm -hmm. And in this place where you see yourself, look oh. around. What is this place? I'm floating though. I'm mm -hmm. not walking. It's, All right. I'm a glide. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't walk. So where do you glide to? Look around you. What yeah. is this place? No ground. It's like space or something. Mm -hmm. No. I've never, you, I've never been here. Are you by yourself, or are there others with you? There's others around. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at you and see if you recognize anyone who is around you. You can connect with the souls mm -hmm. and recognize them. Do you recognize any of these souls? Yeah, in my family. Mm -hmm. How do you communicate in this place? But I'm mine is mm -hmm. now these that are around you do they look just like you are they beautiful also or do you stand out in this place they nice looking mm -hmm. I stand out mm -hmm. what is your role I'm a leader mm -hmm. Let's find out where, what is this place that you lead? Does it have a name? I'm some kind of queen or something. Mm -hmm. What is the name of this place that you lead? Uh, I can't say that. Uh huh? <sighs> Perhaps you can see the letters in your in your mind.
Does it have a name? Mm -hmm. No. So let's find out what it is that you have done in this place in order to connect you to those that are in the lifetime now of joys. How are you connected? Same spirit. Same spirit. Very good. So let's see if that spirit is connected to the same entity that she calls her husband. Let's find out how you are connected in that place. Do these souls know each other there? Tell me about it. He split off of my soul. All right. We are one. Mm -hmm. So now that we understand that, can we understand why these two souls are trying to reunite once again? Allow the information to flow. Uh, in this life, they would be more spiritually connected. Mm -hmm. And be healers. Mm -hmm. They have to learn that they're one, mm -hmm. and they're from one spirit. All right. Friends talk to two. How will that help her moving forward, knowing this? It would release all her abilities. Tell me and more. And her knowing. Mm-hmm of all her abilities and what she's capable of to, to all right. do. So she would be opening up herself to these abilities that she has? Yes. All right. Is she ready to release that now? Mm. Yes. All right. What is holding her back? Is there anything holding her back? Nothing now. Nothing now. Very good. So let's allow that flow to begin. Feel that flow going into her heart, connecting. As she connects her heart to all of those that need to be healed. And as we talk about the healing, I'd like to ask about the essential oils and seeing if this is the right path for her. Now that she has released her abilities. I sent that to her. Very good. Will she be doing this full time? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what, is she, what do you have to tell her about her current position? It's all part of the process. Mm -hmm. Any advice that you would like to give her? Mm-hmm. 
Very good. Is this part of releasing that state of burden also? That she's been told that she has? Is that part of it? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Why has she chosen to put this burden on her? On herself? To make her a better healer. Mm -hmm. By experiencing all of that, By she can help. experiencing all that, mm -hmm. she can help others. Mm -hmm. Does she need to carry that burden any longer? No. And now I'd like to ask if there's anything else that I could have asked or that you would like to tell Joyce today in this session. It, um, it's telling me that finish reading the books that I was presented with. Be more open. Stop being resistant. Just Anything. sit quietly and meditate, mm -hmm. and everything will come. Very good. Anything else? They, uh, they, they are telling me they're there. Mm -hmm. I'm going on the right path. Wonderful. Just have patience. Very good. Very good. And I'd like to ask, what is the best way for Joyce to connect with this higher self, this higher power in the future? She connects all the time. Okay, very good. Is there anything else or are we complete now? Okay. Very okay. good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yay, Alba! <laughs> you did it. I know I did. I can't believe it. So how do you feel now? I feel great. I feel, I, I have a lot of energy and mm, interesting. I haven't felt like this in a long time. Even with all that CrossFit stuff that you're doing? No. No, this not even with that. I think I have more energy when I go wow. there this time. Wow. I feel... I feel You're buzzing it. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, yeah. So you have yeah. Been, I feel good. You have gone through quite an experience today. I mean, we went everywhere. You went. You were watching your mom. Yes. As she was being. Yeah. Well, that she wasn't like too much. Yeah. Yeah. With her parents, and then her you father. felt, and then you felt her. Yes, I attached. felt it. I felt it. Yeah, her attachment. Oh my goodness! Amazing, huh? Yeah, she was attached everywhere. You said cut court. I was cutting forever. I didn't think I ever stopped cutting. Yeah, amazing. She, and was she wasn't like, really happy about going, but no, she wanted to stay she, with me. But I think yeah. she finally saw that everybody's waiting for her. There was like a mm -hmm. big party waiting mm -hmm. for her. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been hypnotized before. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't do much work to even try to get you there because. Yeah, she, I think I was gone. out. You I was gone. out before we even started. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling lightheaded. And that's what happens. Just with the conversation. That's what happens when you're hypnotized before. If you've been hypnotized before, it's like riding a bicycle. You know mm. what it feels like, especially if you do meditation. You know what it feels like to go into that altered state. And Joyce has been hypnotized many times before. In fact, Joyce, you and I met at the introspective hypnosis class yes. that we had. Yeah. And um, we did a lot of work there. and. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. So how do you feel now to be on this receiving end of finally getting all of this stuff? <laughs> I feel great. Yeah. I feel great. That was an awesome experience. Yeah. And this was not an introspective hypnosis session. We did quite a different uh, thing. Yes, you know, we Introspective did. hypnosis deals pretty much with issues of this life, and we went directly into a different life. Which Several was, different lives. Yeah. Yes. And between life, too. 
Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. So what would you like to tell everybody about your experience? How it felt? It felt, uh, it, it, it really felt great. It, it really did. It uh, opened up a lot of things that I was resistant to. Mm-hmm. And I know now that I just need to give in. Yep. And just... What, um, whatever resist persists. Yes. 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 I need to surrender. Yes. And part of that (laughs) surrendering is your own hypnosis practice. Are you are you willing now to finally start hypnotizing people? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm I'm willing to get started. So where are you located? What area? Alexandria, Virginia. Very good. Mm -hmm. So how can people get a hold of you if they wanted to get a hold of you? Do you have like a a I have a um a website. Okay. Because I do the central oils. Okay. It's um, Joy in Healing Joy. Wellness. Mm-hmm. So how, how do you spell that? J-O-Y-N, the and number, the, the letter N. And, and healing. Healingwellness.com. Perfect. And you do essential oils also. I do essential oils. And we had, um, we I saw how those essential oils worked because in our class, Um, Antonio, who was actually doing the class, had a horrific backache for several days. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave him a little bit of those essential oils and it was like gone. So they really do work. That's what they tell me. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yes. So do you recommend this experience to other people? Yes, everybody. If you could get in. (laughs) How did you get in? How did you get in? I have no idea. Because when I've been following Alba for a long time and I'm on her news week, the, and, newsletter. the newsletter. Yes. But every time she sends out one, it never pops up in my inbox. Mm-hmm. I always do a search at the beginning of the month, your name. And then I find out you did send one and I read it and I hit it. But no mm-hmm. luck. The, the calendar, calendar doesn't work. It does work. <laughs> yes, I found out it worked. One day, I just looked at my phone and pop, it said Alba. And I was like, Alba? Alba never pops up. What is this? And I clicked on it and I just went real slow because I had no hope that this was going to pop up today and I just clicked on it because I always click on the little calendar Uh and it was black it wasn't gray (laughs) it was black I saw numbers light up (laughs) and I hit one and then I went through the process and then it told me no that day is taken I was like see I knew this but then it gave me a date and it happened to give me 11 2018 There you go. I How know, right? Is that? So if what you, a number. If you're waiting to get a session with me whenever mm-hmm. it's supposed to be, it's divine time. Yes. So I don't give that. up. Yes. No matter where it is in the world, you'll get it. Mm-hmm. So if you enjoyed this session, sign up for that newsletter. Uh, <laughs> wait for that newsletter to come out and it, it Within seconds, okay, seconds. you got you got to hit that. You can't wait five minutes until you no. get a chance. It does book really fast. Mm-hmm. And I do travel all around the world, so hopefully I'll get to see you in one of those places. So thank you for watching, and I hope to meet you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I hope. <laughs>